Our big exclusive for the first time, the Chief Election Commissioner has said the time has now come for considering the Anna proposal on right to reject. When asked why he said it, it is because the EC hasn't been able to control money power of political parties. When we hear the whole uh, Team Anna campaign, when they talked about not getting into the electoral process, which many have interpreted as a disrespect for the electoral process, is some of what you're saying today actually give credence to what they're saying, that you can't, how do you actually get into this without uh, money power? How could an Arvind Kejriwal actually fight an election if he didn't have crores like some other candidates? Yeah, quite right. But the, at the same time, you know, if uh, uh, people support you and if you are able to uh, uh, catch the imagination of the people, you can still beat money power. But um, uh, one uh, the suggestion of uh, the Anna group, I have started considering very positively. Mm -hmm. Initially, we uh, were dismissive about it, the right to reject. Their oh, point, important. our concern was that the right to reject may lead to too many elections, and mm -hmm. as it is, people complain of election fatigue. But uh, when uh, we discussed, these uh, people had come to meet us, and we had a long, very cordial meeting, in which they said that uh, it will not lead to too many elections, because we are not able to control money power as much as uh, we would like to. Mm -hmm. uh, if people start rejecting such people, if you have spent 10 crores and the people vote you out and then you not only you lose the election, you are disqualified. That will be the only deterrence. Mm -hmm. I think there is a good point there. And uh, initial feedback was that some people in the government also were favorable to the idea. If that was the case, uh, we feel that time has come for us to examine this suggestion. What brought about the shift in your thinking? Was it what happened with the Lokpal bill in parliament? Uh, well, uh, what brought about the shift was that we realized that the, the, despite our best effort, money is still flowing. Mm -hmm. Although in the current elections, we the, seized about 44 crores so far. In the Tamil Nadu and other elections, we had seized 73 crores. But, uh, and for every crore that we seized, we must have stopped at least 20, 30 from flowing. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, a lot of money has uh, still uh, found its way uh, to the wrong hands. So, um, pro since uh, political parties are not uh, the, conducting themselves with responsibility, since they are indulging in these malpractices, Maybe uh, this is the answer. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.